One of the reasons to recruit an apprentice is I'm looking to retire and get a bit older and we need someone to come into the business so we can develop them, teach them what we want to do and how we want to do it uh, with an ultimate view of me retiring and Michael taking off completely. We then got Charlie through a work experience scheme and he's a completely different character. He's interested in the job, he's committed, he's punctual, wants to work and as a result we take, we take him on as an apprentice. I applied for my apprenticeship basically when I was already doing the one day a week work placement through school. I knew I wanted the apprenticeship here so I was asking and eventually they asked me and offered me the apprenticeship. The main process really was showing that I wanted to do it because they gave me the opportunity with the work placement. I thought well if I show that I want to do it, I want to learn, I thought that gives off a good impression and hopefully that will reflect on their offer me the apprenticeship that way. Since the development of Shirley since he started has been very good. He was obviously nervous in a new environment, never done it before. Uh, he's buckled down, he's willing to learn, asks the right questions, does what he's told, does it the right way. Uh, and as a result, I think he's improved. He's become a member of the team, uh, nearly a member of the family, actually, because it's a family business. My apprenticeship has 100% prepared me for my future career because I want to carry on doing this and I'm already in the workplace, I'm already doing the job, I know exactly what it's going to be like and it's that what prepares you for your career rather than being in the classroom at college. You don't get that feel like you're in the building, you're doing it and stuff like that. Overcoming challenges is all part of teaching people. Yes, we, we do have challenges. Uh, initially, we've been doing this job decades and towards its second nature. And one of the difficulties when you take an apprentice on is they know nothing, they've never done the job before and you can't expect them to just jump in and do it. You need to teach them every step of the way and you have to sort of hold back because to you, you would just get it done because it's second nature. But to them, they've never done it and you have to take the time, explain what you want to do, how you want them to do it, the safety aspects of it all and the outcome of it. And it's been rewarding for both of us, I think. Would I recommend an apprenticeship to other employers? Definitely. All industry fails without apprentices. We all need this influx of new blood, no matter what business you have. If you can't get new people in to train them up, to do the job how you want it doing and doing it right, then the business ultimately will fail. You need apprentices.